Shelving time. Yes, you heard right. We're finally getting a chance to install some shelves and begin bringing the dream kitchen to life. With a few more handmade touches, it is truly a work of art, but also really functional. It didn't take long to bring these shelves together and what a difference it makes to the space. Woohoo! What do you reckon? I love it! We have a shelf. I can't wait to fill it up with all my spices and all my bulk goods so that I can get them out of this kitchen island and actually store other things down there. And something really cool that I'm really excited for is this. This is an op shop find and it's going to be perfect for storing our mugs because they'll be able to hang probably right up here above the coffee machine. How good is it? There's two bucks. Slowly, slowly, the dream kitchen is coming together. The cupboards are being done, the shelves are being done and soon enough we'll use it with hot water once that shower cartridge comes, which by the way, once again, we're having heaps of troubles just getting it freaking delivered. Um, but fingers crossed, Monday it'll arrive in Bega so that we can get it shipped down here. So I've been putting in shelving and um, these shelves here were really easy because uh, the way I designed them, it was 90 degrees from the bench. So super easy. Everything was um, pretty, um, as far as measuring where the brackets had to go, super easy. This wall, however, quite difficult because it actually um, tapers towards the roof as we get closer to the roof. So um, it's actually at like a, it's not at 90 degrees. It's like um, 80 degrees or something like that, which means when I put the bracket on, the bracket leans forward, which means the shelf is going to tilt forward, which means our stuff is going to fall off. So that's unacceptable. So I was trying to think of ways I could... Um, uh, pack out the the difference. It ended up being I needed to pack out 12 mil um, and what I ended up finding was just a, a nut and that has literally perfectly aligned it now. So um, this just turned into a very easy job. Put another one there and then we've got all our uh, storage shelving. This is going to be our um, cookbook shelf or miscellaneous goods shelf. Why did you build a shelf there? Well, so all this stuff that's everywhere can go somewhere. It's um, been a challenge. But we have shelving now. A few days later, I ended up taking the shelves down to seal them before returning them back onto the bracing and laying down my non-slip mat. This has been really effective in keeping our plates, cups and jars from rattling and moving during moving days. So I'm actually really excited for the next few projects that I'm working on, with Sam's help of course. <laughs> We're actually putting in some more decorative things in both the kitchen and the bathroom around the things that need to be done. Um, so right now Sam is drilling some pilot holes and then putting in some hooks and we're actually going to have a little macrame fruit basket which I made hanging from there for apples or bananas or whatever kinds of fruit we have. Lemons? <laughs> <laughs> the macrame fruit basket is available now on our shop Ethical Wonder linked below. We also got some extra hooks that we're going to use to hang up some driftwood to have some paper towel in, as well as glad wrap, um, baking paper and foil.
And while I had all the jars off, I also took the time to relabel them all. I'm using chalkboard paint, which means if the contents inside the jars ever changes, I'll be able to relabel it easily. The next morning, I got up early as I noticed so many new calves had been born overnight. I think I ended up counting six new bubs. Today I'll be using some repurposed bottle caps to liven up our kitchen wall and create a splashback behind our sink. I'll show more of the process behind these bottle caps in our bathroom week video coming up soon. But I think they make a lovely feature in our bus and I'm glad it's the decision I made for this area. Each addition in the kitchen makes it more functional and more beautiful. I'm just glad we have enough space for it all. Another fun addition to not only the aesthetic of the kitchen but also its functionality are the bracing rods Sam and I have been working on. Well, Sam has been working on these while I've been distracted by the older calves. The rods we're using are actually shower curtain rods and copper pipe fittings. We have been modifying these to create a brace that will hopefully prevent all the jars and things from falling off the shelves while we're moving. I think the gripping mats will be doing a lot of the work, but this is for any big bumps or swings which are very likely to happen. It will mean we can leave all of our goods on the shelves as opposed to packing them up each time that we make a move. That's cool. These copper fittings are perfect for this because not only do they look really cool and they allow us to create this little bracing beam, but it also matches the copper of the bottle caps that we have for the kitchen splashback, tying it all together. The shower cartridge is officially on its way here. Oh my god. I think it's the, I think it's it. It's okay. It's fine. Hot water. Hot water. <laughs> Dishwasher. That's a really nice shower. We've got hot water now, so that means we can use our dishwasher. So now our bathroom not only has a working hot shower that we can use anytime we want, we now have a toilet that is functional as well.